Another nice little feature is to do with markers. The updated marker window was in Premiere 6, and I haven't put any markers on the timeline yet, but if I do a few, M for marker, you can see your markers come in here, you can add in comments, you can double click on them, and then you can add the comments in here, you can color code them and so on, and comments in there will become comments over here, all that sort of thing. Those were there before. The nice thing they've added is that there are times when you want to put a marker, but you actually want to put it on the clip. And that was a bit of a faff in old Premiere. Nowadays, what you do is you select the clip, press the M button, and then the marker goes straight onto the clip. So you can see there it's added a marker directly to the clip as opposed to the timeline. And it simply did that because the clip was selected. That was a feature request I know that had been going on for ages and people were desperate for. Again, they've added that in. Other little things they've changed. If I actually want to select all the clips from here and down the timeline, just to show this off properly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another clip, and just put it up here. So there was always a tool in here which lets you click, and then it would select all the clips from wherever the playhead is to the end of the timeline. Well, now they've added in one that goes backwards as well. So this will select every clip that away. This will select every clip that away. This defaults to selecting every clip on every track. But if you hold down on the shift key, you notice the arrow goes from two hours to one. And now when I click, it'll select every clip on that track, but not clips on other tracks. That sort of thing was there in CS6. You didn't have a select backwards thing, but you did have this. It was there in CS6, but a lot of people don't know that all you've got to do is hold down on shift and you can swap from selecting everything on every track to everything on a specific track. Other nice little things that we've got, and there's loads and loads and loads of them. I've got a whole bunch of tabs here. First of all, they got rid of the word timeline just to make the tabs a bit shorter. But secondly, imagine I've got four or five sequences, maybe 10, 15 sequences open. I'd like to find that sequence in a project. Right click on it and say reveal in project. Secondly, I would like to get rid of all the others. Maybe I've accidentally opened 15 sequences. I only want the one I'm working on. How do I do that? In the old days, you'd have to click on the little X to get rid of all of them. Now, all you do is you right click on the tab and choose close other timeline panels, which I have to admit, was really quite useful for me. It's a small thing, but it just made my life so much easier. It's something I could do in other programs and suddenly I could do it in Premiere and it just makes my life a lot easier because I am routinely opening lots of sequences. It's nice to be able to get rid of lots of them. 